something in the air. Nika. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Alice. How are you doing? Nice to speak to you. Lovely to speak to you. Doing How's well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you must be yeah, really excited to know about the, uh, the release this, uh, this coming Friday. Um, but, I mean, it must feel like uh, like a generation has passed since since kind of the screening at the festivals now to, to finally get it out to people now, no? Definitely, yes, definitely exciting and happy that cinemas are open and that um, all the blockbusters are sort of leaving a tiny bit of space for a little, little film sneak its way through. Um, yeah, delighted. Uh -huh. I mean, the, 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 theme, the themes that you touch on in the film are, are very universal in a way, but I'm quite curious, one thing I want to ask you is when you, because it's been all around the world to so these different festivals, was there anything that you noticed that kind of surprised you based on the fact that they are quite, I felt they were very universal themes that you touched on that kind of surprised you in like Q and A's that they asked you afterwards about the film? Alice, or do you want me to go? Um... Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you go, Charlotte. I'm still thinking. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's been interesting. I guess um, uh, we, we were chatting earlier about how cool US audiences are in terms of they're really um, interactive, like very yeah. vocal during screenings and stuff, which was really fun. Um, even though it got me to run out and ask the projectionist to turn the volume up. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, so that was really, really cool. And I feel like um, it's a really nice way as well to, to go to the cinema in terms of to, to be really interactive with the material. Um, yeah, but... Uh -huh. but uh, there was, Alice, was there any kind of questions or anything that, that you feedback from the audience that surprised that you maybe you didn't expect to, to hear from them? No, I was just, I was just, I am so happy that so many of the themes that, that Charlotte explored in the script and, and totally sort of opened up and expanded in the film struck a chord with people. Um, mm -hmm. the, the script, it has so many layers. The story has so many layers, and they 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 all take you on their own sort of parallel journeys, and then they merge back together at the end. And um, people seem to to fully experience the the complexity, um, uh -huh. and and also the the film is not really that kind to to. Uh, the male of the species, <laughs> I'm afraid to say, quite sort of um, tough in its its tre treatment of, of of two particular men in in the story, um, and I was I had my heart in my mouth as to how guys were going to respond, and so many men have come up to me and said we we really loved it and we were enormously moved by it and um, thank you. So that was just like a moment that. Uh, we we weren't we hadn't we hadn't uh, and offended people who who shouldn't um, you know who don't fall in that particular group of of human beings. Yeah, I mean talk, talking. About, I mean it, it does kind of it's it's quite it's not so obvious, no, but it does kind of give you this this male gaze that's got these kind of male characters that can objectify women, no, and at the same time, aside from that, it also focuses very much on kind of the aging process. Coming from such a young director, that was quite, it's quite a surprise. It's not often that you see that. Was there anything specific reason why you decided to use, to, to, to kind of use this story as you, a kind of a, a, to direct a feature film, Charlotte? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the, I, I just, well, I met Kitty and there was loads of stuff in, in, in the script that, that I felt was really so interesting and I hadn't really seen before and it was quite bonkers and I don't know, I thought, you know, I thought it was cool. And, and then we sort of, um, you know, developed it more and added the kind of more nature stuff and expanded the, the kind of the dream world of it, I guess, um, and the sort of eeriness. Um, but yeah, I felt it tapped into lots of stuff that I was really curious to look into, you know, like snoop around in like, um, you know, the, the, the sort of, uh the story of of of, of women who were prosecuted of witchcraft the you know wounds how how 
you know, how one can change one's self-perception in some ways and how that can allow you to grow and to survive and to get over something. You know, I find it so interesting. Yeah, because we were talking at some point, a lot of people would say, ah, oh, why so late? You know, why did this person come out so late? And it's like, well, because it takes a lifetime to be able to accept something. It's fucking hard, you know? It's yeah. like, it, it's it's difficult to, it, first of all, it's very difficult to become a human in general. Just a good yeah. human is the difficult thing that one is striving to do every day and one fails every day and it's really hard. But um. But yeah, so so then it, it felt it felt right that it was someone who'd who'd been sort of broken by by something, but never really admitted it to themselves, and instead built this whole sort of structure around them and this sort of brush with with death and their immortality in some way, um, and the and 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 the trauma of the of the surgery in some ways reopened a lot of these questions and the kind of parallel between the physical wounds and the psychological wounds and the and the and the wounds of uh carried through the past i guess carried through one's you know history through um i i, I it's so interesting to me that that uh, people readily accept you know physical dna as an inheritance but not it, it seems you know obviously there's a lot of people who do accept the, the idea of psychological dna but but it's still some people don't and it it seems as a survival mechanism, it would make complete sense that if, for example, you conceive in trauma or you carry a child within trauma or whatever, you're going to pass that message on to your child because it's going to yeah. help them survive, you know. So obviously, if people are burnt for generation or whatever, do you know what I mean? That information is carried within the subtext of your daily life and 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 it exists. And so, yeah, so it's interesting because there's an amazing movement in Scotland that's like, pushing to pardon the witches and on the one hand you could think well why now what's the point you know but at the same time there's this thing of like you you need to rewrite history because otherwise you're defined by it and if you don't yeah. rewrite it you, you you'll never progress because you you are only the narrative that you tell yourself and and so it's it's it's, it's interesting this idea of like history as a static thing and not like something you know that you constantly have to rewrite and reassess and relook at in function of your new reality because it's just storytelling but like that yeah. keeps having to update itself so in that sense it's really interesting to pardon the witches because suddenly it becomes like a way of freeing your future and of redefining that you know i don't know i think it's kind of interesting Mm -hmm. I, I, I link to that. I, I understand that you actually kind of went to one of the places in Scotland, where well, you went to Scotland, and where one of where one of most of the people who were actually burned as witches, like you said, where that actually took place. Now these witch hunts and these these burning of the witches. Now that must have really kind of bled into the film and, and informed your characters as well. I imagine, now, Alice. Yes. Um, the, the 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 landscape is enormously powerful. Um, it 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 carries um, an extraordinary energy. It's it's untrammeled um, by 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 the human footprint. Um, it's it it feels pretty virgin and and alive and potent. It has an enormous presence, and it was in the story. It it has. Um, she is infused by the energy of the earth and the earth's memory. And um, it, was, it was wonderful because I, uh, in, in the moments where, where, where Veronica traverses another dimension, I was, I was wearing a, a, a short sleeve night dress and essentially barefooted. Um, and so my, I was in, in constant contact and connection with with mud and pine cones and earth, um, and and in forest, and um, it it hugely informed um, what, what happened. Um, ju just to in terms of what happened because <laughs> yeah. it, it felt as if it was happening to me rather than as if I was doing anything 
Um, mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that was the landscape was part of that. Uh -huh. I also understand that your uh, relationship with um, with the nurse looking after you uh, that was that was kind of, that kind of it developed itself because I, I understand that she came to set quite late because it was quite complicated to get her involved in in the filming. No. So that also kind of developed almost uh, organically as well, though, in a way. It Yes. And, and as Charlotte has pointed out, we were really quite lucky that the interiors were shot later. So that, that, that the, we had, because Kota arrived, we were perhaps a week into filming and we only filmed for five and a half at the most six weeks. Um, so to have missed the first week was quite something. Yeah. But but even so, in when she arrived, there was enough time for for Kota and me to 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 eat together, and we were driven to and from set in the same car, so that we we had time to to open up a, a very very free free and trusting flow of communication, and and really. You are each other's lifelines. You you have the script, you have Charlotte, the director, and then you have each other. And um, that's the joy. And and Kota was sort of present without reservation. And that's quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you've got all these different generations in the film uh, and, and they're kind of behind the, the camera as well. Um, and then you got people from all different corners of the world. How did that play into the scripts when everyone became involved? Because I imagine that maybe things metamorphosed a little bit once everyone was on board and gave their own kind of ideas and opinions and how they were going to approach each character. Yeah, that's the thing that's so um, amazing. We were chatting about it with Alice earlier and that thing of, of um, you know, when you, you're making something, whatever it is, like um, it's, sort of attracts certain types of people like in some ways that you sort of control that and don't control it and I, I find like it's kind of funny looking back and looking at everyone in front and behind the camera and thinking god everyone's got these funny similarities you know they're all like kind of testing realities or questioning things in funny ways or you know I don't know everyone's quite thoughtful <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um um and sort of trippy I don't know it's kind of interesting and and so yeah it's sort of the thing sort of requires like a sort of life of its own and 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 attracts its own uh you know because it's quite specific it was always quite specific it's it's it, it's definitely its own little creature and so I think you know it's very much like you know people either get it or they you know what I mean so they no. they 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 just so the people who did were like completely 200% there, you know what I mean? Like even, um, so I remember sending, obviously, you know, the dream of like working with Clint, for example, or Mansell who did the school and basically sending him a rough cut um, of the film being like, he's never going to watch it. You know, it's never going to, this, <laughs> you know, this is mad. Was that before you, was that before you'd asked him to, to score it or had he already yeah, well, agreed? It was, to, it was the, it was, no, agreed. no, no, he hadn't agreed. He hadn't, I hadn't agreed, okay. obviously. He, he'd had, he, he'd had, he, he, and then basically, so I was like, literally you know whispering to the spirits of sussex going girls whisper in his ear like just just go for it you know like literally go 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 and <laughs> and anyway we that he then like basically got back to us which was a miracle and basically said oh my god it's trippy as hell i watched it like five times or whatever um you know and it was really quite it was i mean the narrative sort of structure was there but it was quite rough still the mm -hmm. you know the effects or whatever yeah, and so it was kind of, you know, sort of amazing, like for him at that specific time, at a specific place, it just, you know, just meant something and resonated yeah. and he, you know, and then it, because I think these kind of projects, they tend to be very personal also for everyone, you know, they everyone has to find something quite personal within them just to, you know, to, to be bothered to go through the whole thing, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's like yeah. grueling and, and difficult and, you know, challenging or whatever. And, you know, um, Alice, like the trooper, like racing out in the mud, you know, by <laughs> minus 10, I mean, like extraordinary. <laughs> it's just like amazing. Um, so, 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 yeah, I think, you know, really lucky that, that in some ways I think everyone had something 
they were figuring out, you know, within that they can they could sort of explore within the story. And so I, th I do think there was like um, it was quite like quite emotionally imbued with everyone. So yes, it does grow with everyone, obviously as a as a thing. It opens up into itself, which is amazing. You know, Clint actually mm -hmm. talks about it as like he talks about scoring films as like uh sculpting it's like the sculpture's already in the rock but you've got to discover it and when you've right. discovered it or you've discovered your way in or you've discovered the sound or the taste or the smell or whatever of it, just, it just then it yeah. sort of exists it's so cool to describe it like that but um um but yeah but Alice was saying that as well for acting you know in terms of like you find a piece of clothing or you find an element as well and it sort of opens up the space to, to yeah because Alice it. I understand that you 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 had you brainstormed or you had a lot of uh, conversations with a friend was it a close friend who'd, who'd been through kind of a similar situation that is the, the the catalyst or the trigger in the film not to everything that, that happens afterwards is that true well yes yes I, I mean Charlotte and I had an ongoing conversation. I remember I flew up to Scotland one day just to have a conversation. Um, Scott, Charlotte was already up location hunting and, and on getting ready. Um, so that was continuous and it continued all the way through. I felt, um, I almost felt as if we were Siamese twins, which was, I can't quite, I think maybe we were connected by the heart. I'm not yes, sure. Definitely. <laughs> Or, or, or this, just psychically connected in some way. But, um, I, I summoned my courage and I spoke to a, a friend who has been a school friend since we were nine. Um, and she had not exactly the same experience, but close enough. Um, and I asked her if she w was up for talking about it. I explained that I was doing, I didn't tell the story. Um, and and she you know she laid it out for me what she'd been through um, and I'd obviously researched it on the internet and Charlotte and I had talked but her actually describing very graphically what the experience had been had had a had a really visceral effect on me and she left me with the parting words of you got to rise like a phoenix from the ashes. And it was such a moment of perfect sort of resonance because she didn't know that there were, there was all this imagery of witches yeah. being burned at the stake and ash in the earth and, and ash floating down through the, from the sky. Um, and it just was a, a, a very significant, um, symbol to carry with me mm -hmm. and we're running out of time so just one last question um obviously this is coming out now you're kind of excited about this but charlotte now that you've got this this feature coming out have you got plans or to, to kind of release something imminently or get get her to work at something imminently in the same the same vein or you're going to go back to kind of something more in the cross, in the another cross your or, fingers uh, cross your yeah. fingers and toes cross your fingers and toes oh, i'm sure yeah i'm, there, so I'm just going to go down really really well this is a fantastic movie i uh, can't wait to see more from two hopefully uh, You've got something up your sleeves to come out soon. Hoping, hoping. Uh, fingers crossed. Well, <laughs> best of luck with the, the release. Thank you so much for your time. It's really been really nice to speak to you. I wish you the best of luck. And oh, hope to speak so to you a bit again about uh, yeah, another project sometime soon. I'd love that. Thank you. That's Thank great. You. All right. All the very best. Cheers so then. Much. Have a good day. Bye now. Ah!